I think my position is, is our belief is that testing is changing because of pressures outside of testing. So we have a view that testing is being redistributed, which means that partly the checking that testers do late in projects against requirements of varying quality, we believe that that can be moved upstream into the development space, but only if the testers put their, their, their effort into supporting the business analysis before the developers do their work. So the principle would be that the requirements and stories which example those requirements and illustrate the use of features described by those requirements could be that those stories can be used to validate the requirements as feedback and a prototype if you like but also then be used to feed the uh, behavior-driven development or test-driven development approaches that developers then take on. So the checking against the simple checking of features against some some requirement is done by the developers as part of their normal development activity and that load, that burden, is removed from later testing. So that releases the testers later on to do what they, what humans are better at than machines, which is to do the investigation, exploration and the more subtle kind of investigation of software. So there's a broader uh, picture of foot, which is really that what we're trying to suggest is that the definition and assurance the requirements and the testing of systems has been separated for historical reasons and it's about time we brought them back together again because one of the reasons that bigger projects fail is because we separate the definition of the requirement from the way we will um, assess whether that requirement is met, that business goal, that business value is delivered. So by bringing some of the testing disciplines into the business analysis piece we get a better definition of the requirement and we have the knowledge and understanding as to how to evaluate that product, that system, that deliverable, whatever it happens to be, in a much more kind of sensible way. Now the benefits of this are clear in that I'm pretty convinced it will reduce time overall, it will make the testers happier because they're doing much less of the mundane boring stuff and we're using computers and software to do the things that people are not very good at. But it's also a, a case that the traceability that we all need to uh, demonstrate is achieved in flight. It's not something that is an, after uh, an afterthought where the testers figure out how do we cover the functionality in some way. It's done as part of the definition process itself. So the benefit there is we achieve traceability in flight as a, as a byproduct, not as, a, as an afterthought. And one final thing is by having that traceability, we're much in a much better position to have uh, requirements and specifications that are accurate because they are part of the definition process used in the automation. Developers follow it, testers understand the whole process. But it also allows us to do much more sophisticated business impact analysis because we can trace the usage of the language in our uh, requirements through stories, through tests, through code, right the way through. So expect to see uh, opportunities to do testing and test coverage against the language we actually use for our requirements and this is a real step forward in that I think we can now pursue much better business impact analysis and one of the uh, classic ideas of lean is to save money and time and effort and be, just be sophisticated in the way you define and build systems but the first lesson of lean must be let us not undertake the projects that have no chance of success and so by being able to do better business impact analysis, projects that would be guaranteed to fail are never actually started.